Fiberglass was first developed during World War II by the British for use in ray domes. Today, fiberglass is used in a wide variety of products, ranging from car bodies, boats, insulation in homes, water park slides, furniture, and many other applications. Uh, but not that kind of fiber. The kind of fiber we are talking about is made from a mixture of silica and other materials such as recycled glass. This mixture is heated and extruded into fine strands. These strands are then collected into bundles called rovings. Fiberglass rovings can either be used to directly create a product or can be woven into fabrics to suit other applications. These fabrics include chopped mat, unidirectional, as well as woven. There are a variety of manufacturing techniques used for production of fiberglass products. The most common forms include pultrusion, gun roving, filament winding, and molding. Let's take a look at the pultrusion process. Pultrusion is a relatively slow process, as hundreds, even thousands of strands must be pressed into a desired shape. Here we see the strands being led from their spools to the machine. Fiberglass mat is also used as it greatly increases strength. Here is where the machine really gets down to business. The strands and fabric are coated in resin and are pulled through a die to be pressed into the desired shape, heat treated, cured, and then cut to length. Now let's have a look at gun roving. In this process, a mixture of resin and fiberglass is sprayed onto a mold. Here you can see the fiberglass strands being run from the spool to the hopper. This specialized hopper cuts the glass strands and releases them into a jet of resin to be projected onto the surface of the mold. After the fiberglass has been sprayed evenly over the entire surface of the mold, it must be rolled down flat. This process is typically done by hand. In some areas, resin is added for increased strength. Here, woven fiberglass mat is added to increase thickness and structural integrity. Once the fiberglass has set, it is removed from the mold and is ready for further processing. In filament winding, Strands of fiberglass are coated in resin and then wound around a rotating mold. This process is used for forming pipes, tubes, posts, as well as other hollow cylindrical products. Grading Systems Incorporated, located in West Haven, Utah, gave a simple demonstration of how a fiberglass panel is created. First, chopped matte fabric is pressed onto a wax-coated mold. It is then coated with resin, and this process is repeated layer by layer until desired thickness is achieved. Fiberglass can be a superior alternative to many materials, including steel. Here, we see how falling weight disfigured this steel grating. However, fiberglass was able to withstand the impact with only cosmetic damage. In conclusion, 
Fiberglass can be manufactured to possess a wide range of characteristics. High strength, flexibility, corrosion resistance, and low cost make it a superior material in many applications.